In this video, I'm going to show you how to compute the percent of people that selected a certain option, it could be yes or no, in a survey. And for this case, we're using some dummy data on uh, the various social media channels. And as you can see from this data, we have the respondent ID, that is the unique identifier of each respondent. We have the respondent name and the various social media channels and the responses. Whereby in this case, uh, we have the response yes for cases whereby uh, the respondent used a particular social media channel, let's say in the last five days. And therefore, we're going to connect this data in Tableau and see how we can uh, compute the percent of people that selected uh, the option yes. And to do that, let me go to Tableau and I'm going to go to Microsoft Excel and connect to this data. Once the data is connected, the first thing that I'll do is pivot the data, or rather convert the data from the cross-tab format to columnar data. And to do that, I'm going to select all the social media channels. So I'm going to select Facebook and drag her to the end, hold down the shift key on the keyboard and select others. And by doing that, I'm going to select all the social media channels I need to analyze. And let's pivot this data and you're going to realize when we pivot the data, Tableau is going to convert this cross-tab data into two columns or the columnar data, whereby we're going to have the pivot field names, which will contain all the columns names or rather the social media channels and the pivot field values, which will contain the responses themselves. And now we can go to a new worksheet and see how we can compute the percent of people that respondent are yes, and there are two ways we can do this. The first way I'm going to drag the pivot field names to the columns simply to show each and every social media channel. Next, I'm going to write drag the respondent ID to the columns. And for this case, I'm going to use the count distinct because I need to show each and every respondent in this data. And next, I'm going to drag pivot field values to the color simply to show the different responses. So for example, when you come to Facebook, you can see that 25 people responded yes, while only five people responded no. However, for this case, we want to compute the percent of people. And to do that, we're going to add a table calculation. So I'm going to come here and go to quick table calculation. And for this case, I'm going to select percent of total. And next, let me go back again to ensure this percent of total is computed table across. Lastly, I'm going to label the view and add the response no, because for this case, we want to show the people who responded yes. So I'm going to right click no on the legend and select add. And lastly, I'm going to sort the view in descending order. And now we're going to have this view whereby you can tell the proportion of people that responded yes. For example, you can say that for WhatsApp, all the people, or rather 100% of the people responded yes while Facebook only 83%. And you can also see the responses for the rest of social media channels. The other way to compute the percent of people that selected an option, let me open a new worksheet, and I'm going to drag the pivot field names to the rows simply to show each social media channel. And for this case, I'm going to create a new calculated field. So create calculated field, and this calculation will be the percent of total. And what I'll do, I'm going to use this calculation. I'm going to say if the pivot field values, that is the responses, if the response is a yes, then I need to have to return the respondent's ID and I'm going to add the calculation. Whereby in this case, I'm going to aggregate this particular calculation uh, using the count distinct. And I'm going to divide this particular uh, expression with, I'm going to say if the pivot field values is equals yes, or the pivot field values it's a no, rather basically we're going to divide by the total respondents, then respondent ID, because I have to end 
And this one also will be aggregated by count distinct because I want to count the unique respondents. So this is the calculation I'm going to use. I'm going to take all the respondents that responded yes. And as you can see here, we have the numerator and divide that with all the respondents. That is respondents who either responded yes or no. So to get the percent of the total. And let's add this calculation to the columns. And I can sort it. Let's also label it. And of course, I need to format it to percent. So I'm going to come here, right click, go to format. And under pane, I'm going to change this one to percent. And now, as you can see from the resulting view, we can say that the results are the same, just like in the previous example, whereby we can see what's up it's 100%, Facebook is 83.33, and all the way down to LinkedIn with 16.67. That is the same case. And basically, those are the two options that you can use to compute the percent of people that select an option. It could be yes or no, or any other response uh, in most of the survey questions that you're going to come across. And that's all. Thanks.